Well, hi, I'm Rick Baker, and I am... <laughs> I'm so proud and honored to be the presenter of this award to my idol, my, uh, my mentor, and my friend for over 43 years. The greatest makeup artist alive. Uh, Dick is fondly referred to as the godfather of makeup, not just because he did Brando's makeup for that film, but because he took makeup to a whole new level. He, it's unbelievable what this man has done. I mean, his work inspired a whole generation of up-and-coming makeup artists, myself included, many of them here at this table. He, he taught us. He, like he said, he didn't have trade secrets. He would go out of his way. He was unbelievable about the way he shared information. He would record his thought process, what made him come with the, up with his technique, what materials he used, why he used the materials, where he bought the materials, uh, what he would do differently if he was to do that makeup again. He would record all this and he would actually, he, he typed it up and bought himself a mimeograph machine. If you remember those things, you know, and he actually would mimeograph these, these notes and give them to any aspiring makeup artist, artist or anybody. I mean, it, it, it was not uncommon to see Dick on a, some street corner in Manhattan handing people, uh, <laughs> uh, he said, this is, this is how I, I did the bullet hits in, in The Godfather, and this is how I made Linda Blair's uh, throat swell up uh, on The Exorcist, you know. But, uh, you know, another reason he's known as the godfather of makeup is because he makes you offers that you can't refuse. Uh, he uh, made me one of those when he called me up and asked me to, uh, to live in his house and work in his basement as his lab assistant on The Exorcist. I mean, I, I could not pass that up. I mean, and I was afraid I was going to find a dead horse head in my bed. So I, 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 I said yes. It is now the greatest pleasure that I would like to present this honorary Oscar to the greatest makeup artist who will ever live, Mr. Dick Smith. Well, I'll read this and then I'll say something that I don't have to read. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please forgive me. My memory is not very good these days. When I watched the wonderful film they just showed, I kept thinking, gosh, that fellow had a great career. <laughs> <laughs> but I do remember with great fondness everyone at this table and how much they have meant to me in my life. I will never forget tonight, from the bottom of my heart, thank you all. This has been an incredible joy, one of the greatest I've ever had in my whole life. I have loved being a makeup artist so much, but this kind of puts the crown, a cap, on all of that, all of that, to have so much kindness given to me, all in one huge piece. It's just too much. I am so grateful. Thank you so much. <laughs> 